From now, I would like to export the objects from this source system, and then import them into the target system by using the transport of copy. As a first step, it is necessary to export the objects from this source system. To do so, let's go to the transaction SE01. After pushing the create button, select transport of copies. Input the appropriate short description and target system ID. In this case, I use the dummy system that is the virtual system and not existing physically. Put the cursor on the newly created transport request. Then push Include Objects button. After that, select Freely Selected Objects. Because I want to export objects that belong to the package Z demo package, I specify that package in this screen. If you don't want to limit the number of objects shown in the next screen, Select the option Do not limit number of hits. In this screen, you can select objects that should be included in the transport request. Because I want to transport all objects belong to this package, I select all of them. After that, push the button in request. Now, selected objects are assigned to the transport request. Then, push the release button. Oops, the error was issued. The error is about the lock of objects by other transport requests. Because this is the transport of copy and trying to export current version of objects as a demo, I ignore these errors. Another error was issued. This is because I tried export inactive objects. To overcome this error, it is necessary to activate objects in questions, or eliminate inactive objects from the transport request. I took the latter solution, in this case. Then, export it again. This time, the export process has begun. And it is finished successfully. At this time, transport files, co-files and data, are existing as OS files. Let's check them and it is necessary to copy them to the target system in this demo. This is the target system, and I've already copied transport files, co-files and data. Let's check it. To import the transport request, 
Let's go to the transaction STMS underscore import. At first, it is necessary to add the transport request to the buffer. To do so, select this menu. Then, input the transport request name and the target client. The target client is necessary in this system, because the transport parameter CTC is one in this system. In your case, it might not be necessary to specify the client here. Now, the transport request is added to the import queue. Put the cursor on the transport request, then push the import button. At first, Let's import this transport request without specifying any options. The error is issued. This error is about the inconsistencies of SP levels between source and target systems. In this demo, I will ignore this error, and set the import option to do so, in the next time. This time, let's set the option Ignore Invalid Component Version. This time, no error is issued, and the import process has begun. Push the refresh button until the import process is finished. Around 45 seconds later. Finally, the transport request is successfully imported. Let's check the import log. To do so, put the cursor on the transport request, and then push the log button. This is the screen of transport log. I've tested adding and deleting buffer several times before this demo, so some logs are duplicated. Please ignore them. In your case, it won't be happened. It seems be warning during the import, so let's check it. The warning is about the position of field. It doesn't really matter and normally the warning can be ignored. So let's ignore this warning. Let's check the object list. From now on, I would like to explain things should be cared, after the import of objects. It is about the original system of object. To see the example, let's go to the contents of object. Let's check the original system of this object from the menu, go to, object directory entry. As you can see here, the original system is NWD, that is the source system of this transport demo, and it is differ from this system ID, ECD. In this situation, the original system of object is differ from the system ID where you are trying to change the object. Your changes to this object will be as repair, and you cannot edit object normally, it means that you must use buttons, insert, replace and delete to edit object, like a modification. It is okay, if you don't intend to change objects, like in the test or production system. However if you transported objects into the new development system for example, it would have to overcome this situation. By the way, you cannot change the original system from this screen, even in the change mode.
To change the original system, you have to go to the transaction SE03. In SE03, execute change object directory entries. Here, select the object that you want to change the original system. Then push the execute button. Now, you can change the original system of object, like this. The original system of this object is ECD now. You can select multiple objects by specifying the package for example, like this. By selecting several objects before pushing the button change object directory, you can select multiple objects to change its original system. However, you have to change the original system one by one, like this. You can select multiple objects as a block like this. By the way, you can check the original system of objects in the table, TADIR. At last, let's check whether it is possible to edit the object, not as a repair. The original system is the current system ID ECD. Let's change it. The message about the repair change is not shown as before. Now there is no button insert, replace and delete and it is possible to edit the code normally. Of course, you can save your change into the transport request like this.
Thank you very much for watching this video. Please check my other videos and subscribe this channel, if you like.